Okay, so for your banded ab crunch, so we're gonna do, we're gonna put the heaviest, most strongest band up there. We're gonna have the door grip the top of the door, handles attached. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna be on our knees, toes dug in, we're gonna bring our hips, we're gonna tuck them upward, almost like you're trying to bring your belly button towards your chest, towards your sternum. So when I'm in this position, I like to go palms up. You can go in neutral grip if you want to, but keeping your palms up makes it a little easier to hang on to. So when I'm here, I'm not gonna bow forward. What I'm gonna be focusing on is trying to bring my elbows towards my hips, right? So what I'm doing, all I'm doing, just real quick, get a this way. All I'm doing is I'm not trying to bow down and just engage in hip flexors. What I'm trying to do is bring my belly button towards my sternum and my sternum towards my belly button. So as I come down, I'm trying to curl in and roll in on myself like a roly poly would. So what it looks like is this. I'm gonna be here. Knees down, toes in, I'm gonna be curled in. I'm gonna curl down myself. Exhale all the air out, squeeze as tight as I can. Kind of like I'm controlled. Squeeze. So mind you, I'm not pulling it in with my lats. I'm keeping this holding in place and I'm letting my abs do all the work. Squeeze. Right back in, it helps exhale and squeeze as you do it. Now if you need more tension, move back. I know the key too is if you want to feel in your lower abs more, imagine bringing your knees up as well. All it's doing is just pushing you, give you a little more tension this way, it's going to engage those lower abs a lot better. So kind of like this. See my toes? So hard I couldn't even talk and explain what was going on. So give that a go. Focus on trying to bring the legs up towards the chest and really engage those abs. Squeeze as tight as you can, exhale as you come. I know some of those I kind of exhaled all the way up, but exhale as you go down, squeeze all the air up and squeeze it as tight as you possibly can. Really choke all the air out of your abs. A lot of shaking, that's how you know you're doing it right. Okay, there's your bandy crunch.